Emily Blunt sometimes gets the ick when kissing her co-stars, but she powers through for our entertainment. In an interview on SiriusXM's The Howard Stern Show, host Howard Stern asked the Fall Guy star if she's ever wanted to throw up after filming a kissing scene. Absolutely, absolutely, Blunt said. I wouldn't say it's extreme loathing, but I've definitely not enjoyed some of it. Blunt said that she has to search for a positive or attractive quality about her on-screen kissing partners in order to make it through the scene. My feeling is I've got to find something I love about everybody, she said. I have to find something, even if it's one thing. It might be like they have a nice laugh, or I like how they speak to people, they're polite. I mean, it might be something random, but find something you love about that person or something you love about them as the character and then kind of lean into that. Blunt also said that her robust experience with on-screen love stories makes it easy for her to summon a romantic energy in her performances. I've been doing this long enough. I could have chemistry with this water bottle at this point, she said. You know how to conjure it. But it's just easier when you have a natural rapport with someone. Blunt has shared on-screen romances with some of Hollywood's biggest male stars over the last two decades, including Dwayne Johnson, Jungle Cruise, Tom Cruise, Edge of Tomorrow, Matt Damon, The Adjustment Bureau, Tom Hanks, Charlie Wilson's War, Jason Siegel, The Five-Year Engagement and Gulliver's Travels, Steve Carell, Dan in Real Life, James Corden and Chris Pine, Into the Woods, and her real-life husband John Krasinski, The Quiet Place Films. All that is to say, there are a lot of big-name actors who might be unpleasant smoochers. Blunt's latest film The Fall Guy is now playing in theaters. Her next movie if release is in theaters on Friday. May 17th.